The question is, how has this impacted my friendships? So let's show you one of my friends. This is my best friend, Katie Burke. Jackie's gonna get mad at that. This is one of my best friends, Katie Burke. Katie, what is your advice for friends or coworkers of someone who gets an ALS diagnosis? By the way, Levis is driving us right now. That's a great question because I think it is hard to know what to do. And it's scary to think that you're gonna say or do the wrong thing. And likely if you're a friend or a family member, you're also probably grappling with a lot of your own emotions about the diagnosis. One thing I wish I realized at the beginning that was the most important thing was quality time together and support. Uh, our group of friends has always been great about getting together, but now we're even more intentional and thoughtful about spending time together. I wish it didn't take something like a terminal diagnosis to feel that way. I appreciate it in this new way because all of our time has always been limited, but um, it's been made a little bit, uh, I guess, more evident through the diagnosis. And I think showing up, being present, and trying to support your loved one while keeping your relationship as normal as possible. We've had a lot of laughs, I think, in particular one actually about the emotional side of this. Like when Brooke would bring up anything serious about ALS, I would start crying. <laughs> We'd just be dramatic because I would feel like I should leave the room. Yeah, you would just walk out of the room. And I've gotten a better handle on it, I think. And that is important to do your own work to figure out like, how do I process this as a supporter and loved one? Now we make jokes. If Brooke has to give us any health updates, we know sort of who's gonna <laughs> and hi, I'm Brooke. I was given the terminal diagnosis of ALS. Today is day 25 of posting every day for ALS Awareness Month. We're off to see Zach Brown Band and Kenny Chesney. See you tomorrow! tomorrow.